Okay, I'm going to demonstrate our Outlaw 2 2x72 belt grinder. I've got this demonstrated at first with a small wheel attachment. <clears throat> uh, this particular model works horizontally and vertically. Uh, there you see the horizontal mode. Uh, there's a lever lock down here. Uh, that can be, be locked if necessary. If you start to get a little vibration, uh, you can lock that lever down. Uh, typically, I, I never lock it. Uh, it's a real rigid unit. Everything is a fully welded chassis. So uh, typically there's, there's very little vibration. Using a KBAC variable frequency driver running a one and a half horsepower motor on this particular model. Uh, this is operating on 110 volts of electricity. Uh, when we go to the two horsepower and up models, of course then we need 220 volts. I'm gonna go ahead and give this a spin. Uh, there you can see it, uh, it's a slow speed up to a higher speed. Normally wouldn't run the small contact wheels at that high of a speed, but uh, it's there if you think you need it. I will work uh, again in the horizontal mode with the tool rest. Both of my grinders have dual tool arm receivers. It works really nice if you want to add the tool rest real quick, uh, on and off real quick, or out of the way, whatever you need. Uh, the, uh, the table features a, a, a V-groove on one side and a more of a rectangular notch on the other side. Of course, the V-groove uh, will work really good with the small contact wheels in this position. You can angle it, have whatever you need to do, square it up. Uh, is what guys typically use on the, with a the small wheel, uh, in or out. I'll go ahead and uh, get that out of the way. Talk a little more about my small wheel attachment. Uh, this is all built in-house. A uh, little different design than uh, most of the other ones you see. It's all steel construction. Uh, no aluminum on this. The side pieces you see there are actually stainless steel. Uh, there's a spring action here that actually grabs the bearings. There's four little fingers and there's a, uh, a hump that's left on uh, the end of the little fingers to accept that bearing. Uh, this works really good. There's no pocket that's machined in there to collect that grease and gunk that leaks out of the bearings along with all the grinder dust and all that stuff stays really clean, works really good. Uh, the sides are also spring loaded so if you get a set of rollers that don't hold a very tight tolerance this attachment will accept those those sloppy uh, those sloppy wheels as well uh, there's an idler wheel up top and this adjusts up and down uh, you can put collapse your belt down if you've got a deep u-shaped groove you need to grind out uh, for example a spur band you don't want to grind those those inside corners off the idler wheel uh, works really good but uh, this has been a, uh, a pretty neat attachment that, uh, that we're using here, and uh, again, all this is made, made right here in-house. All the parts are CNC uh, water jet cut. Uh, they hold a really tight tolerance. It's all cut out of uh, 5 16 4130 aircraft grade steel, so it's a real durable unit. I'm gonna go ahead and jump now to our uh, platen attachment or slack attachment works both ways go ahead and run that for a sec track it high speed this has comes with a back on it the backing assembly, the whole assembly will come off. The, uh, the little arms and the whole, everything will come off and free all this area up. The first thing you notice about this is the depth of the throat and the height up and down. So that allows you to have a lot of flexibility when you're grinding big bulky pieces and you need to swing them in and around behind the belt. Works really good for that. Back comes off really quick. Uh, two bolts right here if you want to change that backing if it starts to get some wear. Or you want to add the ceramic glass or something like that there is a little adjustment front to back so you can do so and uh, make that make that work as well 
Again, this back will come off if you wanted to throw a, uh, a J-Flex belt on there, do some slack grinding, deburring, round some edges or something like that. Works really good for that. There is an adjustment right here, so you can you can uh, adjust that uh, that tilt there if you wanted to kick it up or kick it down, whatever you needed to do. If you had something that was more comfortable for you, that adjustment is there as well. And that's also been a pretty handy attachment here in the shop. Last thing I'm going to show you is the uh, just a standard 10 inch contact wheel. Nothing new here, just a real standard attachment. I just wanted to show that it does work with a contact wheel. Low speed will work in the horizontal mode. If for some reason you had uh, something you needed to do there, you can actually throw the tool rest on in that position if you wanted to. And uh, one thing I didn't show, the tool rest does work well uh, with the with the platen attachment, of course. Go ahead and go back to that. Both my grinders feature dual tool arm receivers. Makes it really easy to add the tool rest. I put that around to the rectangular notch. I can slide it up there however, up or down, tilted, straight, flat, whatever. And uh, that's the Outlaw 2 belt grinder. This is the tilting version. I do offer it in a, uh, the Outlaw 1 is just a rigid unit. Uh, it doesn't have a tilt. Uh, I offer it with a standard 2 horsepower, just an imported motor. If you were on to save a little money or you just needed a grinder to run a contact wheel or something like that, it's a pretty slick unit too. Uh, anyways, all this can be uh, checked out on my website outlawwaterjetdesign.com it's not up right now but it will be in a few days uh, thanks for watching